Good morning. Welcome to my Germany, Austria, Europe vlog, whatever. I don't know where I'm going. So I have a few weeks off and I decided I was going to take a trip. I'm going to go to Germany at least. And yeah, I'd love to go to Austria and Czech Republic as well. So we will see. Um, today is the 14th. So, I'm in Las Vegas, and the easiest way to get there is through Newark, New Jersey. So, I'm flying to Newark right now, or like in an hour. And then after that, I'm going to stay the night there and then leave for Germany tomorrow. Now, since I'm a flight attendant and I fly on standby, I don't know exactly which flight I'm going to get on, but I have like about six options. So, hopefully I can get on at least one of them. From different airlines so yeah my hope is to fly into munich or berlin but if that doesn't work i can try austrian airlines or lufthansa and just like do somewhere else and then yeah so that is my plan my plan for this trip is just to explore new culture and then i have a concert i'm going to in germany not a horn and i would love to get there early and see him in Prague too. So we'll see if I make it. <laughs> all right, I'm all packed and ready to go. I hope I have everything. What I'm bringing is this backpack and my purse, so yeah. Good morning, it's the next day. I made it to Newark. I don't know how I got on that flight last night. It was fully booked and there was nine people above me on standby, but they didn't show up, so I got to get on the plane. So my plans for today is to, right now it's like checkout time. It's like almost 11 a.m. I have to get out of here. Um, but all the flights to Europe don't leave till like 6 p.m. So I have like five hours because I still need to go to the airport early. I might go to the mall here and have the hotel keep my luggage. I'm pretty sure they do luggage storage. So I'll just do that. Once I get to the airport, I'll need to change back into my uniform because flight attendants and crew can have liquids of any size. I could cut through TSA and we do something called KCM, which is called known crew member, and you just skip the line. However, you can't use KCM when traveling internationally for leisure. So I'm not gonna be able to do that. However, if I am still in uniform, I can still take my liquids. So I have my contact solution that's a full size, so that's why that matters. <laughs> Let's change out of my uniform once I'm through TSA and probably go back to this. <laughs> I'm likely going to be either on Austrian Airlines to Vienna or Lufthansa to Frankfurt. Those like the most open flights, so we will see. There's also one to Copenhagen, but that's kind of out of the way so i'm probably not gonna do that but the flight looks really open for that there's like 80 open seats and i'm like i'd have a whole row to myself you know <laughs> but copenhagen's like a 12-hour bus ride to where i'm trying to go so like last resort but i'm pretty sure i could get on the vienna or frankfurt flights so yeah my view at the hotel i'm in newark that is not new york city that is just newark so yeah I made it to the airport. I'm just sitting here. I've got all my stuff. I'm hoping I can get on Austrian Airlines to Vienna. So, yeah, I'm just waiting. I made it, and I got a window seat, and a blanket, and a pillow, and I'm excited. five hours till I can even check in so I'm like I'm just gonna take a bus to Prague now and forget it because I was gonna do a hostel and it was like 20 bucks anyway so I'm like whatever I'm so tired <laughs> Alright, 
about 4 p.m. I made it to Prague. We're just pulling up to the train station. Time for a hotel tour. So on the left, here is the bathroom. I cannot figure out how to turn on the lights. Um, yeah, but it's a pretty nice bathroom. And the room here on the right, there's a closet and it is a queen bed. And then they gave me some water and chocolate here. And then um, here's a desk. And then the view is so beautiful. I'm on the outskirts of Prague. Look at this view. It is like 6.30 a.m. It is so beautiful. I'm about to head down for breakfast. I get breakfast at this hotel. I'm just gonna put on makeup, fix my hair, and head down for breakfast. After breakfast, I'm gonna go on a walk into town. I found a few things to do. There's the Prague Castle, so I'm gonna go over there, and then the Charles Bridge, and just take pictures, walk around, see if there's any St. Patrick's Day things. It is St. Patrick's Day today, so I have my little shirt on. It says, let the shenanigans begin. <laughs> and I'm going to a concert later tonight, so really excited. I'm going to be really tired, so I'm probably going to come back around 1 or 2 and take a nap and then go to the arena because I'm going to be tired. I've been up. I woke up at like 5 a.m. because I slept like 13 hours and yeah, I was just really tired last night. As soon as I could check in, I just went to sleep. <laughs> Walk into the castle. I believe it's up here to the left. Oh, the rest of this walk is uphill. It's like 10 minutes upstairs. I did not know that. St. Patrick's Day, so it's closed, but they said I could still walk around. <laughs> Can't go in anywhere. Okay. There's a lot of walking up here. I don't know if that was worth it, but <laughs> the view at the like viewing point is really pretty. So, yeah. This is the Charles Bridge. You can walk across and get a really pretty view of the city. And there's little shops over here, but they're all closed. So I decided to do one of those hop on, hop off bus tours around Prague. They give you some little headphones. All right, I did the hop on, hop off tour. It was pretty good. I got off on the last stop and there's this little market here. All right, I already ate most of my food, but I got this dish called spatzel. It was really good. And then I just got a Coke Zero now it's time for a nap and then go to the concert. I just got back to the hotel from the concert. It was really fun. Um, I was in the back on the floor, so it's still kind of close. I had a really good time. The only bad thing is I bought a bottle of water and in concerts, a lot of times they make you remove the cap. So like this part. And I had drank most of the water, but I had like about this much left and I put it in my purse and it was standing up and I totally forgot 
and I was on the train back to the hotel and I was like why is my leg all wet like what is going on and it of course emptied in my purse and my phone charger got all wet it was like submerged in water my portable everything like my keys so now that I'm back at the hotel I like dumped my purse out <laughs> and cleaned everything the charger cord is luckily good but the portable charger I don't know I'm letting it dry but we'll see tomorrow <laughs> Just ordered some food. I'm starving. I haven't ate since lunch. I'm gonna go to sleep after I eat and I gotta get up and leave tomorrow and I'm going to Munich. So yeah, that is the plan.